Hello to all of the beautiful ESO people. Today we're looking at the principles behind enchanting. As with other crafting skills, it is necessary to extract raw materials into crafting ingredients. Runes are required and can be gathered throughout Tamriel and are usually found around rocks, beaches, trees, or just slightly hidden out of sight. Different regions yield different materials and inevitably higher grade materials too. So once you have some runes, you want to head on over to an enchanting station. The three types of runes are potency, essence, and aspect. Now, potency are usually hardest to find, and when you hover over them, you can see it requires potency improvement one. Um, essence doesn't have anything, but aspect will say requires aspect improvement one itself. So that relates to passives. If you press K, go to crafting and then enchanting, you'll see that there are different levels of improvement that you can do. So the aspect at level one, and I'll say allows you to use common white and green aspect runestones. Next upgrade is at level six. So I'm at two now, so I need to level up the low level ones before I can go up. Same difference with potency improvement. Keen eye means I can see them up to well, 20 meters or closer if I get this. Hiling means that a hiling will go out every day and bring me back some nice rune stones. And aspect extraction increases the chance of extracting aspect rune stones by 5% when you're breaking down glyphs. So say I do want to make myself a glyph because that's what you do with enchanting. Um, you basically put the rune stones together, make glyphs, and then add them to armor, weapons, or jewelry. So if I add Jujota, Rekipa, and Potency, what we're looking to do is make a rune phrase or word. So I'm going to press R and craft it. And this is successfully made Rekipa Fire. So I've only made my... Oh, sorry. I apologize, it's actually made the glyph. Now, the different types of glyphs, if we look at them, uh, basically what happens, and this is the one that we've just made, it says it's an enchanting glyph for jewelry, you see it up top, uh, and it's a trifling glyph of fire resist. Adds 50 flame resistance, and it can only be applied to an item between levels 1 and 10. Now, if we look at these other glyphs, we can see same difference, except this one's a weapon glyph, um, jewelry glyph and armor glyph so that means that it can only be attached to armor between 1 and 10 this adds 10 max health so in theory we should we might not be able to attach this because obviously it's already got um it's already got a special unique trait to it so let's find something that's armor and enchant it that's white so here we go adds the 10 max health press e and now it's enchanted the other thing that you can do is go back to the enchant station and say, hey, I want more uh, runes out of glyphs. Say if you've got spare glyphs, so you can break them down. You press E to extract a glyph, R, and that will break it down. So now you're just pulling the runes out of the glyphs, um, and then you can reuse them. So that's pretty cool as well. So if you have any suggestions or things to add to enchanting, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you want to stay informed about everything Elder Scrolls Online, I strongly recommend you check out tesso.gamepedia.com, which is linked in the description below, and gets updated as the game does. And remember to like and subscribe to advance with your enchants. And as always, bye for now.